head in a place that I never, ever thought. We were just up there on some snowmobile. I just went and had fun. I said, my son wants to see Lebanon, he wants to see the snow. He gets up on this thing. It's meant to be safe, but I don't know. He goes around once and he's all right. I come walking towards them, I was somewhere else. And our cousin said to him, no. He goes, you can't go on again by yourself. You have to take your father or your brother or your uncle. Because my brother, he had experience on it. <laughs> Knowing my brother Muhammad, subhanAllah, he, he'd jump and do anything, subhanAllah, for people. And I said, and then they said, either your brother or your, your uncle or your father. Who does he choose? Uncle. He chose his uncle. Subhanallah. I, if, he, if he told me, they would have told me, go on with him, I would have gone on with him. To keep him safe. And my brother, he said, I'll go on with you. Allah chose him before your son chose his uncle. Mm. You know, they loved each other a lot. Yubathul maru ma'man ahab. Person who's gathered with those whom they love. It took a turn, and that's when I saw them now. They're taking off. My father was there, I was there, my cousins were there, two of them. I just saw it go off very nicely. And I had a feeling, wallahi, a voice in my head told me, they're going to smash into the wall and die. Allah. And then that voice went. Allah. I could see it. And he, hell. And then it went. And I forgot about it. I'm happy and my son's having fun. Okay, Allah khalas, but I want him to get off. You know, I'm not happy about it. My heart's not happy. Very uncomfortable, very, very uncomfortable. Like that voice went. And I see them, it's like as if you know, the angel of death was waiting there. It's like he had a rope and just pulled them in. It wouldn't stop. The petrol throttle got stuck. Subhanallah. Out of all people. They just smashed into the wall at a high speed. They couldn't, I could see them trying to maneuver, they couldn't get off. Very hard for me to talk about it, but my son passed away at the scene. I, I ran to him and tried to. Died within four minutes, maybe. And my brother, he survived a little bit. About an hour. He went into the ambulance with my son. And my brother's telling him, Following you, Ammo, I'm following you five minutes. In the hospital, he died. They both got buried. I hugged my brother and son. I said, don't worry, it's just temporary. When the angels come to you, say this. I don't know why I was saying that, Abu Hamza. I was just saying a lot of things. The first thing I said is, Inna lillahu inna lillahu. I, I said it quickly, because I knew I wasn't going to hold myself. I was all in. Inna lillahu inna lillahu. I looked up in the sky. I said, where are you? The angel of the... Just give me... Give me a minute, I just want to say goodbye to my son, you know. Allah. And I think well of him, subhanAllah. Insha'Allah, this is not the last time. I hope, insha'Allah, my brothers and sisters around the world can make du'a for them.